Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to dive deeper into the Fabric module of Python. Uh, recently I had like the task to copy some files towards Linux based hosts and um, what I was using so far was the WinSCP which is basically a fine tool for this job but what I cannot do with this is like uh, problematic programmatically tell it to copy the same file to uh, different hosts and for this what I'm going to show you is that how you can create a small python script which is used by the fabric module to di distribute files to other systems all right so as always what we will do is to create a fab directory and inside here we would like to create a virtual environment which is called fabber and after the environment is ready what we are going to do is activate it and install uh, the fabric module so fabber scripts activate now we can use pip install fabric and after it is completed, we should be able to create our file. So in order to use the Fabric CLI, you need to create uh, uh, basically a, a fabfile.py. So what we are going to do now is to go open up the code text editor and create a fabfile. That py. There is only one thing that we would like to import from the come on from the fabric module, which is the task. The task can be used as a decorator, and we can define functions and decorate it with this uh, task decorator. This will become available for us. So let's call the first one hello. It needs to have the C, which is going to be the host object against which we are like trying to authenticate and do stuff. So let's call this hello world and let's create another task and let's call this must copy C and we would like to pass a file as an argument. So print. the file will be copied but how do I know which host is currently being targeted for this uh, we can and should discover what the C function holds let's save it and just prepare this copy to C now if we go back to our terminal we can use the fab module to list out whatever we have available here and one thing that we need is the hosts so if we say that fab dash dash list it is going to list the functions which are decorated by the task decorator and if i say that fab hello dash dash hosts equal to raspberry pi this is my raspberry in the kitchen so basically what happens here is that we execute whatever is inside that function targeting that specific host now if we want we can basically tell that we would like to use a mass copy and the first thing that you write after the mass copy is the first argument to that function so let's call it test.txt and basically we can see that this connection object <coughs> is now populated and we are going against the raspberry pi host and uh, it is going to work because currently there is a passwordless ssh authentication setup and uh, basically that's why i don't have to prompt for username or password or whatever and we can use uh, comma separator and it will reiterate over each and every host 
and uh, whatever is in the function will be executed. That's why we see that the text will be copied to, etc., etc. Now we can say that we can refer to the C dot host, and basically it gives us a nicer name for the target. So now, how do we put that file to our hosts? Well, basically, <coughs> we use the c.put function. <laughs> and what we need to specify is the local and the remote path. So for the local, we will use the file. And the remote is going to be an f string and we would like to put these inside the temp folder because why not so now this is what we will do and uh, <laughs> let's create a notepad test dot xml and just populate it with some content and now if I go ahead and try to execute this one let's try and log in to the Raspberry Pi if we check the temp folder we do not have any file called test.xml and if we go to the hosts and execute this function what we will see is that we have the test that fight copied. So uh, technically that's it. And uh, if you want, uh, you could like uh, upgrade it, so to speak, not just to handle one file or one file, but rather multiple files. All you have to do is like <coughs> add. Oh, let's create a, another file test.json and test.csv let's save it and let's let's implement it so file z and we say that files equals to hold on files that split via comma if the comma is in the files otherwise files and uh, basically this should be it but just to make sure we would like to see how it works before we go ahead and execute it so test.xml and test.csv and test.json mm -hmm. so uh, basically now that we have this uh, let's call this to be copied which is an empty and what we would like to do is to use the to be copied which is equal to files split if we have this one here otherwise mm, let's not complicate this too much so if we have this one in files then the to be copied is equal to files.split otherwise to be copied is going to have the files appended so now what we would like to do is to check the content of the to be copied <coughs> this seems about right 
yeah this is also right and what we would like to do is to go over each file in the to be to be copied and we say that the file will be copied to host and we would like to remove the comma from here and it seems to be working come on oh and this is the test.csv <coughs> and basically that was all i wanted to show you if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more see you in the next